comes a disrespect. At number one, Patrick Mahomes. No surprise. I don't need to go into an explanation. He's in a class by himself. At number two, Tua Tonga Vailoa. Mm. This year so far, when you look at what everyone's done, and I give him extra credit, he was concussed in consecutive weeks. I don't know about the wisdom of him playing right now. Might be bad for his long-term health. I don't know. But I'll tell you this much. It's inspirational that he got... He, he was, had a neurological event four days later on 100 hours rest, whatever it was. He's knocked out. His hands are rigid and stuff. I thought season over. The dude's been setting the world on fire since then. I got him two so far this year. I'm going to have to see my list, uh, Shannon. You're going to have to scroll down a little bit. <laughs> All right, Shannon, right back. There we go. At three, Jalen Hurts, who's played well, but Tua has really lit it up recently. And part of the reason Hurts was as high as he was is they were undefeated. They have now lost. Although he did not play poorly, I have him third. Lamar Jackson, four, he dropped when he was throwing picks or, or, and, and making bad decisions in the fourth quarter. He cut that out the last couple weeks. He's back up. Josh Allen, four red zone picks in the last two games. A loss at home. I got to drop him to five. Tom Brady. Because, come on, man, once Tom Brady starts to look like Tom Brady, I don't need to see too much more. It's Tom Brady. Same thing with Aaron Rodgers. I got him at seven. Okay, so Brady's Brady six, Rodgers seven. They just beat the Cowboys. Big underdogs. They did it at home. He's dealing with rookie wide receivers, a hurt offensive line. I got Rodgers at seven. Geno Smith is eight. He would be higher, but Brady and Rodgers start to look like themselves again. They shoot up the list. Justin Herbert, nine, with the barbecued ribs and no Keenan Allen. He's still getting wins. Joe Burrow, 10. I expect Herbert and Burrow to move up this list later in the year, but right now Burrow's missing his guy, Jamar Chase, and has not looked as good recently. I got Justin Fields, 11. Look. What he has done recently, put him on some teams. Tell me if they get better or worse. Like the Cowboys. So I got Dak Prescott 12. I think Justin Fields is on the Cowboys right now. They might look a little better. I got Dak Prescott 12. Jimmy Garoppolo 13 because as soon as he took over that job, everyone and their mother was like, you know what? Niners might get out of the NFC. They weren't saying that when Trey Lance was the quarterback. I got Daniel Jones at 14. He's big, athletic. He throws a nice ball, and I'll tell you what else. he has He's, he's cured the fumble problem so far, knock wood, and they're winning. And I got Kirk Cousins, 15, who, as Key pointed out, could have thrown a gang of picks in the last game, but didn't, and they won. He is not surrounded. I mean, he has he's surrounded by much more talent than someone like Daniel Jones. Give Daniel Jones Justin Jefferson and watch what happens, right? So I got Kirk Cousins, 15. I had him 16 last time. Mariota drops out. I got him 15. That's one to Kirk Cousins. By the way, 15th best starting quarterback in the league. Like, like, who's the 15th best point guard? Jay, who would that be? Like, De'Aaron Fox or someone like that? That's a good player. He's a good player. He's a solid middle starting quarterback in the NFL. Nice player. 15. That's what I have. What do you think? I mean, it's... So... Dang, you get past a few people, it doesn't matter. So I, I don't think I, I don't. I'm not going to sit up here on national TV and say that Kirk Cousins is a top ten quarterback. I, I think the ten quarterbacks that you have ranked above him are there. Now, this is not about who you would start your franchise with. Right. That's about who's playing this way now. Yeah. Right. This year has the emphasis okay, on. So, so Justin Fields. Reasons. Just I, I would have Justin Fields. I'd rather have him to start my franchise over Kirk Cousins, but it hasn't been until the last two games that he's been playing out of his mind. Well, it's not like the emphasis, whole heavy emphasis on recent. Okay, but this is a guy. Kirk Cousins has team eight and one. You put eight and one. So I'm saying that if you're asking me, just this year, sample size this year. Yes, Kirk With, Cousins is having a better year than Justin Fields. But it's weighted. Mm, I don't know about da- that. Daniel it's Jones. Weighted, it's weight. You have to weigh it so toward you know, what's happened last Daniel several Jones games. Daniel Jones has only had one game where he's thrown over 220 yards. So what? He doesn't have anyone to throw to, and they're winning. I understand, but once you would again, rather have you think Kirk Cousins is better than Daniel Jones right I now? I think he's playing better than if Daniel put, Jones this year. If yes. you put Daniel Jones on the Vikings, I, I think it's clear to me they would get better right now. Daniel Jones, they, do, think so, of how he's playing so with saying, all those weapons. So you're saying he, it would be eight and zero. There'd be well, nine, there'd be nine and zero. <laughs> that's a good but point. But they're eight yeah. and one. What are you talking about? Yeah, they could about? be seven and one, six and two, eight. No, who knows? You're right. You're right. You're right. Dak Prescott is playing. But I do think the team would be better. I, I think if you said, is it? Easier or harder to beat the team if they had Daniel Jones instead of Kirk Cousins? I think it's harder to but beat. But once again, you're, you're confusing. Are you comparing the entire career or are you comparing just this year? No, no. You're saying Dak Prescott so far this year has played better than Kirk Cousins? What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, I'd rather have Dak Prescott than Kirk Cousins this year so far. Yeah, I would. I think if Why? He was, because he is a more of a dual threat quarterback. He has, I like, I, I think he throws a better ball. I think he's better. Different. He's different than Kirk Cousins. He only played. 
three games, and in two of the games, he's played he four. Very, one game he came out in the fourth. Excuse me, four. He's played four, but one game. First yeah, game. I don't count the first game. I'm yeah, talking about. I'm talking about quarter. finishing. Okay, okay first yeah, but even the first, game. even the first game, they smashed the Bears. Smashed them. No, 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 no. The first game of the season. Oh, oh, oh when he got yeah, hurt. Yeah, yeah, Max, give me a progressive. Sorry, lost to Tom. Uh, we're presented by Progressive Insurance. <laughs> okay, so what I was saying though, when you look at Dak Prescott's two games, three games completed, mm-hmm. two of them. He did exactly what he needed to do. He was flawless. It was simple. He didn't have big numbers. That's good football. He did that. Against the Green Bay Packers, it's mixed messages that was sent. Mm -hmm. Kirk Cousins, for the most part, this year has had a solid season. Mm -hmm. But it's also been a little bit mixed messages. I I wouldn't have him at 15. I think he... Is better this year than Jimmy this Garoppolo's year. been? This year. Well, he's, remember he's Jimmy done more than Jimmy. Year. He's done this more season. than Jimmy. But remember, the Niners were dead in the water with the other guy. He, he's done, Jimmy Garoppolo shows up. Everyone's taken up to get out of as much as I as much as I as much as I as much as I like Justin Fields, and I know Justin Fields is a mini Jalen Hurts to me with a lot of promise. Kirk Cousins has played better this year, this year exactly. than Justin Fields. Than Justin yeah, Fields. I Justin disagree Fields, recently. Justin Fields, over two and a half games, have done some stuff that said, wow, but you can't take two and a half against nine. I, I understand what you're saying, you can't, but can't this, is what, this, is what I'm, this is what I mean with the list. Let me describe it better. I'm, I'm taking, uh, not the past, I'm taking this year, right? But the reason I say heavy emphasis really is I'm trying to gauge where each guy is at the moment. Right. So Justin Fields at the moment, even though he hasn't accomplished as much this year, I think is better right now than Kirk Cousins. I think he's better. Not just so early. He's in, not. He's not. Oh, he looks better to me. Been, no, he I was. Ex- he was. Uh, he was. He was. He's been over the last two and a half weeks. Pretty, pretty impressive. Oh, you think? Yeah. You know, pretty impressive. He's rushing for 150 yards a game. Pretty, pretty he, impressive. They, they weren't letting him throw the ball the first several games of the season, Matt. Yes, and so I'm trying to. It's calculus. You're trying to 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 plot. Uh, and figure out the rate of change, too. And the rate of change I see from Justin Fields is from a baby to a guy that the league can't even know how to deal with right now. Yeah, but they the league knows how to deal with Kirk Cousins. He just, you know, listen, you throw the ball up and Justin Jefferson makes a catch. What are you going to do? I know. I get that. I, I understand it. I'm not saying that I'm getting ready to give him a, a, a new contract worth $700 million. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is when you look at the course of the season, mm-hmm. if it's this season, not this week, Mm-hmm. This season, then he should be ahead of Justin Fields. I'm trying yes. to gauge where they. Oh, let me let me put it better. I'm trying to gauge where they are right now. I'm trying to figure what, out where they are right what, now. What's, what's right is, now? Yeah, what right now, heading into this next week, who do you think is better? Right, like you're trying to win a game today. Um, who would you rather have? You're trying to win a game today. Who would you rather have? Well, if I'm trying that's to win a, a game today, I'm taking. That's, 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 that's a different list. That's I was just about to say that's a different list. Flip it on it. Okay, okay, okay. Here's hold on, hold on. Never mind. Hold on. Here we are. Hold on, hold on. Well, no, not never mind. QBR, because the stats you would point to are all taken in consideration by QBR, and furthermore, key, your top five quarterbacks are going to line up almost perfectly with QBR. So you actually like the stat more than you realize. Look at this. Every stat that you would look at has him mid-pack. I have him rated higher than those stats. 20th in QBR, 19th in completion percentage, 18th in touchdown and interception, and he has a squad. Let's not forget a squad. Yards per attempt, 25th. I got him 15th. I got him ahead of those numbers. But I can't, I, I just can't with the QBR. It's an eye test for me. Okay. I can't. The numbers are the numbers. What yeah, I'm saying is QBR line lines up with your eye test the, the very line, well. It's going to line up. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not. But I just look at it from an eyeball test. And when you talk about Justin Fields and him being underneath Justin Fields, I disagree with you. And then when you say, well, right now, tomorrow, if we're talking about right now, tomorrow, then Tom Brady going in front of everybody except Patrick Mahomes. Not yet for me. Not yet. Not yet. No, not yet. It's good. He's getting there, but he went from not on the you list went, to, to six. That's but, fast. But, but Max, you just said if we had a game tomorrow, who we take? You would take him over Lamar Jackson tomorrow? Absolutely. I would not If tomorrow. we had a game tomorrow, oh yeah, I'm taking I would, Tom Brady, I would, man. I, I need to see him do oh, that. I'm uh, Tom I need to Brady. see him do that once or twice more, and then maybe I would take. I'm him, taking Tom right Brady for sure. If I had a game so, tomorrow, so Tom Brady was just in the MVP conversation last year. Mm-hmm. And because of life incidences, 
We assume. <laughs> we assume. Well, Allegedly. no, because of his play this year so far, Jay, it hasn't been up to his standards. It has not been as good as a lot of guys, but well, he had one good week. But Max, and based on that one Max, week. Max, Max, so I go back to Max be changed. I go back to yeah. Dak. Yeah. Like, what, what has Dak done that has blown you away? We, we have so many conversations on the show where you make the argument about the fact about they have to run the ball in order for them to be successful. Key, look, okay, look. And you break down Dak Prescott every single day on the show as a Giants fan. I feel like but this is what happened. This I is, feel like it, it makes no sense. This, no, it, it makes perfect sense. I saw the Cowboys offense with Cooper Rush, and they were doing it a certain way, yes, and I was arguing, correct. hey, until Cooper Rush loses, keep them in. They're winning, right? Yeah. Then – People, Key, you were saying, like, when they put Dak in, da 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 Just okay. keep it the same. Then Cooper Rush loses. They bring in Dak. They keep it the same. They did what you said, Key, which is the really good teams smash the teams that yeah. aren't ready. Yes. They, took they the smashed one team. Wait, okay. They wait smashed one That's team, okay. the Bears. That's a big piece of evidence. The Bears it's since... a big piece of evidence. It is. The, one out of ten games is a big piece of evidence for you? It's, yes, it is, Key, Jay. And it's not ten games. It's three games that he's played. He came in against a Bears team that has since then lost very close games, and Justin Fields has gone bananas, right? And Dak, with Dak, the way they were playing, they smashed the Bears. What, what and Dak was making plays that Cooper Rush and guys like that can't make. I, I'm not saying that you can't have a, a good game. He had, a, he had a good game. Yeah, very good. But I, I'm just saying, like, they, what's the formula that they play with, though, Max? Like, what's the formula that makes the Cowboys they successful? Run it. And when you need him to make a play, he can make the play. And am I saying Dak can make plays that Kirk Cousins can't? Yeah, Dak can make some plays Kirk Cousins can't. That's true. I think he throws it a little I, better, I and he runs that, it a lot better. I, 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 would, I would say, say, that I would too, say that, okay. that's Kirk true. Cousins, the way he's played this year, has been better than Dak off the jump. That he has more of a body of work because he didn't so get have, hurt. So but if I had to win a game coming up next week, I'm taking Dak over Kirk Cousins. I, I, so I have would, you changed the algorithm? that. Have you changed the algorithm? So not that exactly, I, because, no. because before you gave me this whole. No, I said what they prefaced the whole thing about this year. Yeah, this, this year with heavy season, emphasis on what? How they played. No, no. I kept saying. I said it ten times. You just heavy changed the argument ten no, times. No, no, no. Wait. I've kept it the same the entire time. I've re I've refined the way I've articulated it to you. But I said from the beginning, heavy emphasis on what <laughs> they've done that. recently. New York City slick. No, no, no. Sean in South hey, Carolina. Hold on. Will you Go guys? back to the tape and no. play the tape. New York City slick. Sean in South Carolina, what you got? 